The reason why we actually use these cards is because they've got solid black backs and they actually look like a genuine tool that will be used in ESP testing. What I'd like you to do is if you take the symbols, I'd like you to give them a good mix. That's fantastic. And if you give me half the cards, it can be from the top half, bottom half. Anyway, that's brilliant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these cards, I'm going to think of one of the symbols, I'm going to place it on the table. I'd like you to do exactly the same. I'll not look while you do that. Have you done that? Okie doke. Now what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to give you my symbol. I'd like you just to shuffle it amongst your pile. And then I'm going to take yours and shuffle it amongst you. Now this is the idea. I'm going to try and go through and I'm going to try and get an educated guess as to what symbol you might have actually selected. I've done this once or twice, so it's quite easy with me. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go through your cards mm -hmm. and remove what I, whatever symbol seems to appeal to you more than the rest, and one that you might think for some reason that I would select. And if you place it face down, that's brilliant. And if you put the rest of the cards on the table there. Now, it's quite easy for me. I would uh, surmise that you'd be the type of person who would go for a star. Yeah. Is that correct? Let's mm -hmm. have a look. Now, obviously, I'm a little bit more complicated. I went for a plus sign. What did you get? Yeah, plus sign. I actually managed to get my symbol. Well done. <laughs> 